Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to run MemGraph MCP server and how to set up Cloud Desktop to uh, uh, listen to this MCP server as an MCP client and to query MemGraph database. So to start off, you will need to clone the MemGraph MCP repository locally uh, and once you do that, you will have uh, MemGraph MCP server code available. Uh, this means that you'll basically have a set of tools and resources for now, just to run query tool and uh, get schema resource that allows uh, MCP client to communicate uh, with uh, MemGraph MCP server. Uh, our plan is definitely to expand this and we are working on uh, MCP server for TypeScript as we're speaking as well. So definitely stay tuned for the upgrades. Uh, first thing we have to do uh, is uh, run uh, memgraph. Uh, to do that, run docker run command uh, with port 7687 opened up for bold protocol. And I decided to run memgraph with mage, which is graph algorithms library. And I need to put schema info enable flag to true uh, to uh, enable show schema info query. After that, I have my MemGraph Lab uh, desktop application, which allows me to uh, quickly load a data set uh, and to communicate with my database. Um, for now, I loaded a simple data set of Game of Thrones death, just, just to showcase how everything uh, works. Uh, after you've done that, uh, you can uh, start up uh, your MCP server. Uh, I already done that with the command uh, uv run server.py. So now we have memgraph uh, and memgraph MCP server up and running, uh, making tools uh, and resources available to MCP client. And the next step is to set up um, MCP client. So in this case, Cloud Desktop. In order for Cloud Desktop to listen to the uh, server MCP server by memgraph, we need to configure it. So uh, to do that, I will run uh, in my terminal the following command. So I will open up uh, the Cloud Desktop configuration. And within this configuration, it is important to set uh, command and arguments and make sure to set up this to your local path to, to UV and to the server MCP MemGraph server. And that's basically it. Once you do that, save um, and uh, restart Claude and you'll be able to see uh, the tools available for, from MemGraph uh, MCP server. Now we open up Claude and we can see that we have a tool available here. It's run query uh, and we can attach a resource such as schema. Once we attach this resource, we can ask a question such as um, what kind of nodes and edges I have in the database. We wait for the answer and we see that the cloud based the answer on schema information and it basically read from the resource I provided, which fetched from the database. And I have six types of nodes and eight parts. Uh, eight types of edges. That's cool. But now if I want to trigger a query tool, run query tool from memgraph, I would do something like put it Daenerys Targaryen kill. And now it queries the database and I need to allow this, I need to allow this tool to run and it runs a query which matches this character, as you can see here. You can see what kind of query it ran and what kind of response it got. And based on this response, it generated the answer where we can see that she killed most of the Golden Company soldiers uh, and which are the notable individual characters she killed. And that's basically it. So for now, MemGraph MCP server offers a run query tool and a uh, show schema resource. Uh, but uh, very soon we will offer more tools and we will offer a MemGraph MCP server for TypeScript. We are definitely open to your feedback and your ideas. Uh, so feel free to open an issue on GitHub or reach to us uh, via Discord. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for listening and until the next time.